Yes, ma'am, we're getting right into the design. If you want to see this freestyle, then stay tuned. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kissed. Hello lovelies and welcome back to another Nine Lux Nails video. Today I have an Aries birthday freestyle. My client did come in with a little inspo picture. Now the picture was on very long nails but I love being the queen of giving my clients what they want in a smaller package. So stay tuned and watch how I create this popping Aries freestyle. Now I did go in and apply her acrylic and coffin nails off camera because I just wanted to show you guys how I did this freestyle design. So I'm going in first with my Beatles brand white polish and I'm just creating this curvature on all of the nails. I am going to skip one because I do like to have an accent nail in all of my sets if you have not noticed. <laughs> so I'm just going in with this white. She did want the free space of the nails to have nude but also have design. So this is kind of what we created. So again, I'm just going to do this curvature on two of the nails and also do a little straight up and down on one of the nails with the Beatles brand polish. And then I'll go in and show you how to enhance this design. This was so many layers, but it turned out so good. Now, I know I may have some people wondering, oh, she didn't top coat these nails and she doing lines. When I know I'm going to do another line and it's layered, I do know that I'm going to at some point apply a top coat on this design. So this particular line is not my final line. I will only do that if it's a final line of the design, which is a Frenchie or line work artwork. In a design like this, I do know that I'm going to apply another line on that outer layer. So I can see a little spreading of these lines, but it's okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and get this white portion cured and we'll go in for the second layer of this design. I'm going in with the Beatles brand Nail Art Foil Glue. I am not using Foil Art. I will be using a neon pigment, but I do like to have a sticky layer for the pigments to adhere to. So I'm just taking a little bit of the Foil Glue on the back of my finger and I'm just going to create a line and get that cured in my LED light and then apply the pigment on top of that sticky layer. Now I am mindful that the foil glue is going on clear so I'm just making sure that I am doing my lines very straight and meticulous to exactly where I want them to go. I am not being messy with this at all. I know that I just want these lines or wherever I place this bold pigment to go right along the edge and center of these nails. And I'm just going to choose some colors out of my pigment stack. So I did like the purple, pink, and blue out of these stacks. I will have them linked below. And as you can see, when I cured the foil glue in the light on top of the white, it does have a yellow after effect because it is cured and that kind of cooked it a little bit so I do know exactly where I will be placing my pigment so I got a different 
spoolie for what I apply chrome and I'm just going to go in and tap the colors in this manner this is a loose pigment and I am not going to mix the colors on each spoolie I'm just going to grab a different one and tap that color in a gradient and marble effect And I'm going to follow this technique over all of the nails. Everywhere that I applied the foil glue, I'm going to tap in the colors. So just be creative and have a little fun with it. And don't feel like you messed up in any portion. I was looking at that blue because it did not give the same color payout as the pink and purple. But once I completed the design, I am again working with the time of a full schedule. So I just had to follow through with what I thought I was going to do. Not sweat or show my client that I'm confused because this is my first time trying a design like this. So I just continued to go through with it. And by the end, I was able to fix any portions that I thought messed up so even that area the way it did not blend as well as the purple and pink together but I was able to create the design to cover up any imperfections so just keep rolling with it and trust the process. So now I'm going to just dust off any excess pigments and as you can see it's nowhere near perfect at all. The pigment did smudge just a little bit and moved around but that's okay because we got the color payout that we were looking for. So now I did at the beginning of the video only do one layer of the white because I knew I would do a cleanup layer. So no sweat again, trust the process. I'm just going to go in with my white and clean up that bottom line. And again, I don't have to worry about that outer line because I am going in with another color. So as long as I clean up this portion of the set, you will see it start coming right back to life. I truly love the layering technique and just following through and making sure I use less is more. When you use quality products, you don't have to cake up or thick up the polish. So I was able to still just do a simple basic two layer gel polish. So I'm going in with that same white and I'm just going to be patient and continue to fill it in and get all of that excess pigment that may have transferred on the white completely erased so it looked like I erased that color even on this portion you could just see that design coming right on back to life I love it So I'm going to take my time and clean up these lines, get that cured, and then we will proceed to layer on this design. Now I love how that cleanup looks. I'm just going to go in with my black Beatles polish and on that outer ledge, I'm just going to go ahead and do a nice thin black line. It's not gonna spread too much because I am coloring up on the polish. So it does actually have a little layer of underneath it, but I want to close that design in and it's allowing not only that white 
to make the colors pop but it's sandwiching the colors in and making them pop a little more so i'm just following the line that i've already created and doing just a thin line so that i'm not covering up the pigment and i'm going to get that cured in the light Now that I have the black lines cured, I'm going to go ahead and top coat these nails with my Key Air Sky No Wipe Top Coat because I want to protect that pigment. I do know that I'm going to do a little more design in that white area and I did not want the pigment to mess up if I have an error and need to wipe them off. So this is always a protective measure. If you use chrome or pigment or you just have a layer of polish that you don't want to mess up, whether it's foil or anything, just protect it with the Kiara Sky No Wipe Top Coat. It is a very thin top coat, but super shiny. So I just love working with it. It's thick and thin at the same time. So I'm just going to cover up that pigment, get that cured in the light, remove any excess from the outer edge of the nail. Again, because we do not want the gel polish to swell once we put it in our LED light. So... I'm just going to get that done and here's the view of the thumb i did do the thumbs different turned out so super cute and now in the white portions i'm just going to go in with the black polish and create a couple of little starbursts as well as just a few random dots and that will tie the set in to this mystic again spacey kind of look i love how it turned out all of these colors together they look so cute And now for this little area that did not blend well, I'm just going to put my little starburst right over it. It did not take away from the set. It actually added to it. And I love how that turned out. So anytime you feel like you have a little thing that you're not satisfied with, keep going with the set because you never know how you can bounce back. Always trust the process and trust your creativity. And now for the final nail, she did want just a little touch of the junk nail that she had been seeing. Um, this client is a regular for her birthday, so I knew it was her birthday coming up because I had probably haven't seen her since the same time last year. So I did know that it had to be a birthday season. I asked where these birthday nails, and of course I was able to go ahead and throw that Aries charm in there, which made it a birthday set. So always keep birthday charms on hand you never know if you're doing somebody birthday set she did not tell me until the end so i was able to go ahead and throw that in and then i was able to just add a little black and a little pink and it tied that set right on together so always have different charms on hand and again she did want the free space of nude on the nail she wanted to see the nude so i'm just going to apply three large charms and fill it in with my same bling it's really 
really so easy i can do it on any set and still tie the set in with the jump nail so always be creative and even on this set some of the charms can't fit in those free spaces so go ahead and grab those caviar beads and add them as well And here is the finished look. They turned out so fire to be a short coffin. She works with her hands and now she has the best nails in the office. Thank you so much for staying tuned to the end. And you already know, come show me some love on Instagram. And don't forget to follow my socials.